Okay, I've tacked. Good. I've tacked it on at a 10 degree angle, and I think I've got a pretty good lineup of all this. So now I'm just going to continue tacking it. Got it down? Hmm? Yeah. on them. We need an arm that comes off of here that attaches to some rods to our steering wheel. So that's going to get welded on the side and that's what we're going to make now. I'm going to make these five inches long. I'll mark it at five. Okay, now mark it ten. We have these quick release rod ends that I happen to have laying around the shop. I used them on an old product that I used to make called a mini jib. I went to larger ones, so they should be fine. I'm going to drill some quarter inch holes. These are going to mount here. Got them? Try the next one. Okay, so these are going to be attached to our wheels and turned this way and this way, but they actually have to be set at a bit of an angle. So I'm going to set that angle, it's 105 degrees, like so. This is a piece of wood that I cut in my miter box. Maybe you have a miter box or a chop box, it lets you cut specific angles. So that's 105 degrees, and that's what I'm going to do here and here. I'm going to use the saw in the upright mode. I could spend a lot of time readjusting this to get the proper angle, but I, I like to leave my saw set at a, behind, at a really good 90 degree angle, and it's really hard, this particular saw, to, to move it back and forth. So I'm just going to do this by hand. You'll see it's pretty quick. Hold the piece down while you do it. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to have to weld this on like this. And you'll notice there's a sizable gap over here. So I have to cut some metal out. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to trace here along the edge. And I know that I have to take out some of that metal right there. That's a much better fit. Well, that's what we're going for. So I'm going to weld this on, and it, you'll notice it's at an angle. I'm not welding it straight onto the spindle, and the reason I'm doing that is one, if I did weld it like that, we would have the, it would probably hit the wheel, probably hit right about here in the wheel. So I'm going to have to angle it in like that, and also. Um, Apparently, you want to angle the um, these steering arms in. This one, the left one will be angled in, and the right one will be angled in, so that when you actually turn the wheel of your of your go kart, um, the inside wheel will turn more than the outside wheel, because the geometry helps it. You don't want you don't want actually want your two wheels to turn because the inside is making a, a tighter radius. So actually the inside wheel will turn a little bit more than the outside. At least that's what I've been told. We'll find out. <laughs> 